Juan Soto's three-run homer in 10th sends Yankees past Guardians 5, 2, and into World Series. Juan Soto's arrival last winter was supposed to be that move that pushed the New York Yankees back to the top. They're one step away. Soto hit a three-run homer with two outs in the 10th inning, and the Yankees advanced to their 41st World Series and first in 15 years. By beating the Cleveland Guardians 5, two in Game 5 of the AL Championship Series on Saturday night. Baseball's biggest brand is going back to October's main stage. Soto, who was acquired in a seven-player trade from San Diego in December, pushed the Bronx Bombers into position with one big swing. This was why he came, for this moment and for so many more. We're right where we belong, said Yankees general manager Brian Cashman, who pulled off the deal for Soto. The Yankees will try to win their 28th title against either the New York Mets or Los Angeles Dodgers. Game 6 of the NL Championship Series is on Sunday at Dodger Stadium. In the third consecutive tight game in three nights at Progressive Field, Austin Wells walked with one out in the 10th, and Alex Verdugo followed with a grounder to Guardians' second baseman Andres Jimenez, whose soft toss to the bag was dropped by rookie shortstop Brian Rocchio for an error. Hunter Gaddis struck out Glaber Torres and had Soto in a one, two count before New York's stylish outfielder sent a shot over the wall in center. Soto danced down the first baseline and paused to celebrate with his teammates before circling the bases. I was just saying to myself, you're all over that guy, you're all over that guy. He ain't got anything, said Soto, who moved alongside his manager, Aaron Boone, as the only New York players to homer in an extra inning series clinching win. Luke Weaver got the final three outs with Lane Thomas flying out for the last one, which was caught by Soto. We get to play for a world championship, Boone said. That's pretty sweet. The 25-year-old Soto is eligible for free agency this winter, and Yankees fans chanted, Re-sign Soto, during the post-game festivities. He's expected to get a contract upwards of $600 million, and his heroics in game the 5th of May have raised his price. Giancarlo Stanton hit a two-run homer and was named ALCS MVP as the Yankees took care of the Guardians in five games. It wasn't easy. New York won the first two at Yankee Stadium without much fanfare or any major drama. However, it was a different story in Cleveland as all three games at Progressive Field were nail-biters. The Guardians rallied to win Game 3 on two, two-run homers in their last two at-bats, and the Yankees held on to win Game 4 after blowing a four-run lead. This was a roller coaster and we were able to just keep punching back, Stanton said. We know there's much more work to do and it's only uphill from here and we gotta get it done. Cleveland just didn't have enough, and a surprising season under first-year manager Stephen Vogt ended just short of a World Series. The franchise remains without a title since 1948, baseball's current longest drought. There's only one team that gets to win the last game of the year, and unfortunately it's not going to be us, Vogt said. But we accomplished a lot as a group. We got better. We worked extremely hard. I couldn't be more proud of this group. We just didn't get quite as far as we wanted to. The Yankees are back in the World Series, back where their fans expect them to be every year. The club's 82, 84th place finish in the AL East last season led to some soul-searching as an organization during the winter, according to Boone, who has been widely criticized but is one of just three managers to take New York to playoffs in six of his first seven seasons. While the team's core stayed mostly intact, getting Soto in a blockbuster trade on deck seven. New York sent five players to San Diego for the three-time All-Star, accelerated the team returning to title contender. That was a good day, Boone said with a laugh before the game. Stanton's 446-foot rocket into the left field bleachers tied it at two in the sixth and chased Tanner Bybee, who had struck out New York's dangerous DH in his first two at-bats and held the Yankees scoreless for the first five innings. It was Stanton's fourth homer in this series, his third in three days, and his 16th in the postseason, moving him into fourth place on the club's career list behind Bernie Williams, 22, Derek Jeter, 20, and Mickey Mantle, 18. Before the game, Boone was asked what makes Stanton so good. He can hit it harder than anyone, first of all, 
Boone said. So there's the physical nature of what he does that's different than just about everyone in the world. But Boone went on to compliment Stanton's discipline at the plate, his approach, his process, how he studies guys. There's something that he does when he gets familiarity with people on top of being very physically gifted, Boone said. The Guardians took a two. Zero lead in the fifth off Carlos Rodon on Stephen Kwan's RBI single with two outs. But Cleveland missed a big chance for more, leaving the bases loaded when Lane Thomas grounded out on the first pitch to him from Mark Leiter Jr. Trainer's room. Yankees, LHP Nestor Cortez, elbow strain, had another successful live batting practice session. The reliever remains on track to join the Yankees on their World Series roster. Boone said Cortez would throw again early next week. Cortez went 9, 10 with a 3.77 ERA in 30 starts, 